it going. Before we get into this video, NQ Stats does not provide strategy. It does not provide indicators, and it does not provide investment or financial advice. What NQ Stats does do is provide statistical edge derived from historical market performance. Nothing shown in this video should be taken as advice of any kind. This video is providing a tool that could potentially be leveraged to make a trade decision. You as the trader are responsible for how you leverage and build around it, in addition to how you enter, exit, and manage any trade you decide to take. With that said, let's get into it. All right, how's it going? This is going to be a quick video on uh, ALN sessions aligning with daily distribution STEBs or just um, distribution STEBs in general, whether it's daily, H4, H1, etc. cetera. Um, part of the 30 minute weekly sessions I do just to answer those one-on-one -on -one sessions that I offer to answer questions surrounding the content that I share uh, somebody today in today's session asked, he was just having a little trouble aligning the ALN session data with the distribution SDEVs, uh, the net change SDEVs. And so we'll take a look at today. Um, so going into today's session, you'll have a um, Asia box, right? And then London totally engulfs it both sides. So statistically, uh, statistically, you'll have in that scenario an 80% probability of taking the low or the high of London blue box and a 64% probability of taking both sides. Uh, so when we look at that, right, we have our 80% uh, probability of taking this high or this low. And we have a 64% probability of taking both. Um, so when 8 a.m. opens up, we're already at the low. We pretty much take it immediately. So that 80% target is now out of the way. Now all that's left would be a 64% probability of coming back to the high to take that high. Um, but note where price is currently. It's at the, the plus 0 0.5. It's already distributed back from the plus 1 down towards the mean. So if all you see is this, Right, and price is coming and closing out that London box. It's coming back towards the mean. It's already distributed up and pivoted off the 1.0 and is now coming back down. Um, typically, when it pivots off of that and starts to retrace back down, and, and you're so high in terms of distribution, still at the 0.5, and notice there's no volume under session open. You have all this volume all the way down to the low, uh, you know, this vertical line closes the previous session. New session opens up, and there's this much traded under the open. Uh, there's really nothing traded under the open. And price rallies into the morning, throughout the night, maintains at the plus 1.0 distribution, and starts to pivot down through London session. It is, it is not very likely in terms of distribution to have something, a New York session will typically go the direction that the day is going to close. So, um, so the New York session is typically the session that that paints the rest of the bar, right? Your London, uh, Asia, your overnight session, your Asia, London session will typically form the wick um, most of the time. And your New York session will be the expansion part of the bar and, and the opposite wick and the close. So the New York session will be usually be responsible for the expansion, the opposite higher low, and the closure. Um, so coming into the day, we've already gone up and set this high, and now we're looking to see what New York does. Uh, but noticing also the distribution of net changes, right? we would not be expecting something like this to come up and, and break the 1.0 and break the, the 1.5 and then close somewhere up here. That would not be the expectation from a distribution perspective because 84% of historical daily sessions have closed under the plus 1.0. Uh, when you look at distribution data and Z scores and the probabilities, I have a whole video on that. Uh, I'll link it in the description below. And you can go watch that video if you haven't already, but um, this is not the high probability move right you're not expecting price to go and close up here that would be an outlier day uh, typically driven by high impact news uh, big news or just part of a a very obvious trend day which this did not set up to be a very obvious trend day a very obvious trend day would have been 
you know, something along the lines of this, right? But we, we, we curved up, we curved down. It's not an obvious trend day. Um, and you wouldn't necessarily expect price to distribute outside of the norm unless you have a big news event or a uh, obvious trend day. And I talk about my S, my net change ESTA videos, how to identify uh, trend days early. Uh, but anyways, so going into the New York time box, 8 a.m., which starts the green box, um, the high probability target 80% London low is already out of the way. We've already taken that. Based off of where price is, already at the 0.5, already has seen overnight a plus one. You're not anticipating the New York to expand up and close up here. You would be anticipating mean reversion back to the open, potentially maybe chop around for a close, potentially maybe uh, go down to the prior day's low, which it went ahead and did today. Um, two of the scenarios that would be most likely to happen, either mean revert, chop around for a doji day, or come down and take the low for an open high low close. Um, but what you would not expect would be to continue up and close somewhere up here because that would put you in an outlier day. Uh, so hopefully this was just a quick video and helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know.